Hi, this is Real Fitness with Tariq Tyler, and I'm going to be doing our Supplement of the Week series. And I'm going to be doing it at what better place than N101, where you can find all your finest and high-quality sports and nutritional supplements. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so I'm here at N101, and of course today's supplement segment is going to be on protein. Protein, of course, is one of those things that you definitely have to have in your meal plan. It's the basically the building blocks of the muscle that you work so hard to get at. And I brought in a gentleman, of course, who would know better than Alex here, who is here at N101, to help me explain just about protein and all the massive amounts of protein this gentleman has on the shelves. I mean, looking around, if you were the average Jane or Joe and walked in, you would be completely and absolutely confused. So... In order for me to sort of straighten that out, give you viewers a little bit more info on just what type of protein you should be taking and what's really in what, this is the man right here. How you doing, Alex? Very well, thank you. Thanks, Harry. All right. Now, I want to, of course, start out with something really simple, whey proteins, because that's the hot thing on the market. Yeah. Everybody takes whey protein. I take whey protein by the ton. And, and I know there's a lot of varieties of protein as you know, isolates or concentrates, like what is it for example, what is it I'm holding right here? Uh, right here you're holding the isoflex and that's basically an isolate. It's an isolate protein. What this means is basically the way it was processed, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much all the lactose and the fat was removed. So what you get is pretty much nearly 100% just pure protein or Love whey it. protein. Uh, the great thing about an isolate, it digests very easily. Okay. And so even if you're lactose intolerant, then you probably could take this. So, if you're a type of person, you're lactose intolerant, this or this type of protein would be the best thing for you. I mean, I don't think I'm lactose intolerant. You know, like I drink milk like it was going out of style at one point and never farted, so I always figured that was good. <laughs> uh, but for people who are lactose intolerant, this you say we'd say have say take something like this. Yeah, most uh, you know most of people who are lactose intolerant, mm -hmm. then you know we usually tell them to take an isolate, and most people have no problems. Uh -huh. You know, I mean even you could take a lactase enzyme with it if you had to, and uh -huh. definitely you would cover your ground. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So you know the isolate, if you have no choice, then that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. You know, or if you also have maybe digestive problems. Uh -huh. uh, like maybe, you know, maybe you're older and your digestive, digestive system doesn't work as well. So this would be a better protein because you can digest this easily. Got it, got it. You know. So now, so now you say like anybody, like a teenagers, athletes, like is there a way you would recommend, let's say, one protein over another? Like let's say, for example, let's take... Well, yes. Uh, That's a good question. This is another isolate, right? So we yeah. have another isolate here, yeah. right? So this here we have a concentrate. This is more of a concentrate, yeah. Now, what's the big difference between a concentrate and an isolate? Well, basically the biggest difference of a concentrate and an isolate is due to the protein ratio, mm -hmm. for example, per scoop, or how uh -huh. much you will digest. Okay. You know? So let's say a concentrate, depending the weight process, mm -hmm. then, you know, could hold anything from... 29% of protein into the blend, mm -hmm. and the rest being the lactose and the fat, mm -hmm. to maybe all the way to 75%. And that's due to the way it's processed or made, you would say. Now, is that all of it you're getting, let's say, for example, you're getting the exact amount to say that it's in a scoop? Yes, but that's the way you look at it. If a scoop is, let's say, 35 gram, mm -hmm. uh, when you look on the label, the protein is only you know, for example, I don't know, 24 gram or 25 mm -hmm. gram, mm -hmm. then you know the rest is lactose, carbohydrate, or fat. Meaning uh, it's not 100% protein. So, Depends is there actually food. even a, so as far as the concentrate plan, there's never 100% protein, yeah. it's always other things added in? Sort of, well, it's. Because it, it sounds like it's just like it's, it's like not it's fillers added. or just. No, it's not added in uh -huh. because whey protein comes from dairy. Uh -huh. So, you have to sort of understand when you sort of, you know, process the milk. Mm -hmm. Then you know what you collect is whey protein, but there's also you know fat and lactose mm -hmm. who comes in the blend. And if you want to remove more of the fat and lactose, then you have to do other process, which is basically what the nice will become. Ah, okay. So now I was also looking at this is the big granddaddy of all of them, right? 
The Myofusion yeah, from like, Gaspari, yes. Now, I love Gaspari products. Rich, give me a call. I need some protein, man. Hook me up, seriously. <laughs> but now, he's got... I mean, literally, almost you almost have to be like a, somebody with a, a doctor in education in order to understand half the things that go into some of these products. What, what you have here is definitely for everybody. Uh -huh. I mean, this is for somebody who, who works hard to uh, not just with weight, but mm -hmm. it could be a triathlete. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, a track, track and field. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely geared to a more younger, you know, male and female. Uh -huh. But you are more serious about doing sports. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just you know, you housewife. We just want to increase our protein intake. Yeah, that's a good just point. Jogging on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? And weekend this warriors. Is the this isn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could you could take it. I mean, yeah. definitely. But you know, like you you say, you know, it's a little bit more scary because it's a big term. Yeah. But really, the blend is. Again, base, whey concentrate, isolate, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then you have egg inside and a couple of different ones. I think it's like five, six, seven different types. Of protein? Well, they're not seven types of protein, but yes, you have like, if you look at it, you have concentrate at three different levels. Mm -hmm. One which is a pure concentrate, one which is a ion exchange, I believe. The other one is cross micro filter. And then you have, you know, more of the isolate, and then you have a milk protein. And then you have an egg. And then I just get really confused. <laughs> I mean, just from looking at this right now, I have cross flow, cold infusion whey protein concentrate, cross flow, cold infused, micro filtered whey protein isolate, egg albumin, milk protein isolate, whey hydrolysate, pro compliance lipid complex. Some point in time, my eyes just get tired and go, God, will this put muscle on? That's all I care about. I'm, con I'm concerned about this, but this is just me. Well, this is what the blend is like that actually, because they have basically what you would call fast acting mm -hmm. and slow acting protein. So, let's say you want to build muscle. Uh -huh. So, but when you finish your workout, it's very important and you stop the muscle from breaking down. Got it. So, that's why the fast acting, like an isolate, is great. But you also want something that's going to build muscle maybe for the next two, three hours. Uh -huh. So, that's why you add have a, like what you call macropeptide protein which takes longer to digest, which means they will break down slower, slower. and release amino acid and branch chain in into use, you know, blood, basically, and so you can make or produce protein to build muscle. Now, question, are there any side effects to taking too much protein? Let's say, you know, you go in, let's say you're an average guy, you know, because some people sort of believe that sort of more is better sort of mentality. Now, how much can you get to the point where you feel like, oh my God, I've taken in like way too much protein? Well, first of all, to answer your question, yes and no. Mm -hmm. You will have to take a lot to definitely, you know, have some problem. But it's not also saying that there can be some side effect. For example, mm -hmm. you know, when you take a lot of protein, you definitely are taxing your digestive system, mm -hmm. like you know, maybe your liver and also even the kidney, because you have to eliminate, yeah. you know, a lot of byproduct of protein, such as ketone, for example. Gotcha. So. The key thing is, if you do take protein, it's also it be nice to the digestive system by taking enzymes. But also... Yeah, take enzymes, folks. And it's also based on maybe a female or a male mm -hmm. age group, your size. You know, if I'm, if I'm like 180, I need more protein than maybe if somebody is like 110 pounds. Oh, I would assume so. So, <laughs> the way you basically, you know, take protein is based on your sex, uh -huh. age group. Uh -huh the size than you are basically uh -huh. and of course you need some help to do that. Yeah, so you need to also look at your activity level, you know, like exactly. a couch potato of course doesn't need as much protein as somebody who's out up and really active. 